hey what's going on guys welcome back to the vfx showdown and this is the another after effect tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to create this kind of 3d geometry we just posted this in my instagram so let me show you so this is the element 3d loop animation and this looks very complex but it is very easy to do so let's see how this is work okay just close this window and as you can this as you can see this is my composition so let's create a new comp and the instagram support the 1080 by 1080 so this is the resolution 30 frame 10 second okay and let's create a solid control y and call this e3d and apply the element okay and jump into the scene setup and first create a capsule as you can see and then let's increase the height maybe 4 and decrease the radius down maybe 0.05 and the top round caps decrease also until it's almost perfectly round something like this and go into the shape wire mode i'm sorry and increase the height segment maybe 10 so as you can see and go down and press the optimize mesh and the surface option dynamic deform and change this to 180 so i'm going to quickly show you how I made this animation quickly as possible so let's hit ok and we have this line so let's create a camera 80 millimeter hit ok so zoom out a little bit maybe like that okay go inside element 3d group 1 the particle replicator and the replicator shape using sphere okay so let's increase the count maybe 100 and you have something like this and just scale the shape maybe 12 maybe 15 okay and then go into the particle look and increase the size randomness maybe 50 or 60 i'm going to 60 and you will get this kind of result okay and also decrease the particle size maybe 7 8 let's 9 i think 7 is good maybe 8 and go into the particle replicator again and here let's increase the shape scale and see 16 looks good let's zoom in a little bit so we'll fix the whole composition zoom in and if you want a more just increase this 120 i'm stick 100 for this tutorial purpose okay and i want this one small this is big maybe seven is good maybe six i think seven okay and then jump into the particle look again and enable the multi object and the wire rotation as you can see it will animate so click on the stopwatch and go maybe five seconds so work area in and one revolution and we have this animation so as you can see it's not touching together as you can see the middle is whole so we need to fix that so go inside the replicator and the shape scale maybe 15 let's see so decrease more maybe 14 let's see 13 okay so that's pretty good and i think the size is too big so i'm going to small this maybe six yeah this is looking good okay so we have this shape and the animation pretty nice so let's change the color so as you can see in the particle look we have the color tint if we change 
it will change the whole color of the of this shape so first go inside the scene setup and select the material and go down the basic setting and decrease the grossiness maybe 15 and also the specular specular highlight 16 and change the environment so i'm going to choose one of these let's see this one basic 2k 11 and hit ok and as you can see it is affecting okay so let's create a new light parallel 100% intensity shadow on hit ok okay and go inside the custom view one press c on a keyboard and move around and position your light where you want press ctrl and move this in y and x sorry y and the x okay i think i need this one little bit back so press ctrl and move this top a little bit go into the active camera now this is currently transparent there is no shadow anything at all so let's fix that go inside element 3d and create a floor as you can see go into shared mode as you can see this is the floor let's increase the floor scale the floor like that and go inside the material physicals and here is the material called matte shadow apply on that floor so it will go on and open up select the matte shadow material go inside the advanced setting and also enable the matte reflection so it will reflect and enable the reflection mode to the mirror surface so we can see the reflection as you can see if i disable there is nothing and enable you can see the reflection and drag this one out and change the group one to two okay and then hit ok and go inside the group two and create a null for that so we can control and let's call this floor and move this one down now you can see the reflection select that first move in y down okay something like here maybe let's move this more let's move the camera up a little bit so something like that and move the floor down more I think we need to increase the floor scale maybe 500 let me scale okay so just basically increase the null scale it will scale the floor like that okay so we have the floor and we have the reflection and let's go inside element 3d and enable the shadows go inside the render setting the shadows and enable and this is black so if i toggle the transparency you can see the shadows but let's see the full quality but as you can see this is currently on the shadow mapping if i change to ray trace it will look more natural and realistic and go inside the ambient occlusion enable and you can see the shadows inside if i disable you can see a little bit so also the ray trace and we have a nice pretty shadow inside okay so close this close this one and go inside the lighting and select the 360 so it will bright up go inside the additional lighting and decrease this one maybe 60 maybe 40 okay and double click on the light and you can see this is my light and the shadow darkness is 15% uh, increase this to 100 so we get more darker shadows okay so as you can see we now set this all and let me go inside the output and enable the enhanced multi sampling 
so this will clean up and then and that's it i think so lastly you need to add a background so create a new solid for background so it doesn't matter the color put back and add a ramp gradient ramp okay so let's see move this corner here this one maybe here down like that okay and then we can change the color of that so let's go inside the element first open up let me decrease the preview mode and also this one the third replicator look particle look sorry and the tint color let's go to the first press click on the stopwatch go inside first second maybe two second and change the color let's see let's, let's go one second change the color maybe red go to the two second maybe change this to like blue go to the three second and change this one like green maybe then four let's also the yellow and back to the five the white okay so this is press u so we can see the color keyframes and press u and select the background and then, then simply press the alt on the end color and we will simply parent this one to this color tint color from the element layer and if i release you will see to animate the color as same so this is nice so we all set go into the gradient and just play around the gradient thing we need to move this one down like that and this black one like here and make sure you working on 32 bit just press alt and click on this this is 8 16 and 32 32 is nice for better color accuracy and remove the color bending issues so now as you can see we have the reflection also the shadows and the nice shadows on on our shapes you can see the shadows from the light and nicely ambient occlusion so as you can see this is preview mode so that's why it look crappy so change this to full and it's look good so go inside and inc decrease increase the super sampling maybe two four depending on your graphic card support okay so i think this is looking pretty good actually and control c control s save this first and i think that's it and let's finally create a new adjustment layer this is optional if you want to create and add a curve effect put this layer underneath and above the element and just play around this guy maybe using adjustment layer you can directly apply the curve on the element layer and play around the curve a little bit like that close everything and we have a nice looking shape animation inside element 3d so this is pretty cool and looks very cool in animation so if you not see this animation check out my instagram i give you the link in the video description also the youtube card right here so go ahead and check that out and that's the tutorial for you guys so if you have any question leave in the comment down below and make sure subscribe to our channel to see more future content like this so as always we will see you in our next one have a great day